All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to take the Google Maps Street View and have it show up on your custom live wallpaper based on your current location. As you can see here, this is not my house, but uh, this is like the street right behind my house, right behind my backyard. And what we can do inside of this, once I go over all this stuff with you, is uh, we can change our field of view, our heading, and our pitch. Let me show you what these things do real quick. Uh, the field of view is, 120 is the maximum and I have that set over here for FOV. We got to use that as one of the parameters in the URL that I have up here. I'm going to go over all this with you. But 120 is like zoomed out as far out, far out as it will go. Now if we want to zoom in on a specific location, it's going to zoom in on the center of this picture. So somewhere around here, um, there's a fence right up there. So if I change this field of view to say zero, notice it zooms right in to that. Now watch as I zoom out this number is going to increase. There's that same fence we saw a moment ago. And there now it's even farther back, even farther back, and now the field of view at 120. That's the maximum to my understanding. So this is the view of that street. The heading is going to change the location in which the camera is looking at. So right now, 90 corresponds to east. Notice my GV heading that we're going to create inside of Custom Live Wallpaper or KWGT uh, as well. These are components or widgets. You can make them into that. But 90 is looking east. If I change my heading, that's looking 180 degrees, which corresponds to south. 270 degrees and now what just happened here my my location just updated so this is not the same one you're seeing this is actually in the cul-de-sac in my neighborhood but uh, nonetheless what 270 corresponds to is the west and then flip, uh, 0 or 360 corresponds to looking in the north direction. So we can actually adjust angles in here. Um, they don't have to be 0, 90, 270, 180, 360, all those. You can do any angle in between there and you can be in between. You know, you can be in a northwest direction or a southeast direction or whatever. Same thing goes for the zoom. You don't have to use 30 or 30 increments like I did, the 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, you can adjust anything in between there. And the same thing goes for pitch. Pitch determines zero is straight ahead, so think of the cameras looking straight ahead. And now a uh, pitch of 45 is gonna look up into the sky a little bit. As you can see there, it is looking up in the sky. 90 degrees or 90 is going to be straight up looking at the sun in this picture. So as you can see, that's exactly what's going on. Um, if I tap this again, negative 90 is gonna be looking straight down. And there we go, looking down at the road. Negative 45 is down at an angle. Negative 45 degrees is kind of how I think about it, as we can see right there. And then back to zero straight ahead. So that's all the parameters we can adjust inside of this uh, URL that we're going to put in. And here's the URL, and now we're going to look at KOWP and see how all of this stuff is set up. So inside of KOWP, I have a component. You can make this into a widget in KWGT. And inside of this widget, I'm going to go to the globals. And the parameters that we want to talk about are going to be the size, first of all. I just created a text global variable, and I'm doing a, a width by a height. And you want to type it in like that. And that's going to show up in this URL that you see here. Um, we got this. This is going to be saved, by the way. I should have mentioned that a lot sooner. If you go over to any of my videos and look at KOWP free stuff, go to that link and then go to the Street View folder and get this file. That's basically everything that you see right here if you want to copy and paste. But uh, the street or the street view and then the size right here in this URL, uh, that needs to be a width by height. And you can change these numbers to change the actual width and height. Now, it may not correspond perfectly to what you see on your custom live wallpaper, depending on how big you make your image. But this is going to give me a rectangular shape where my width is going to be longer than my height is. FOV, this is a list global variable. And this FOV, I create a list global that has 0, 30, 60, 90, and 120. This was that zoom that I was talking about a minute ago. 120 is zoomed all the way out. And think of 0 as like zoomed way in. Okay, so that's a list global. You can adjust any of those values as well. Uh, heading, now let me show you what I did here. Heading says north, east, south, and west. But we actually want to return numbers. Um, this is a little trick if you didn't know this inside of a list global variable. So I'm going to go to this list global. I'm going to go and edit. And inside of here, whenever you're making a list global variable, if you have a lot of values and maybe you don't remember what that value corresponds to, it's good to, like this zero here, that zero corresponds to north. If you separate the actual value you want, put two hashtags in between it and then just give it a name. That zero is what's going to get returned, but this is a way you can kind of name it and know what that really means. So zero means north. 
90 means east, and as you can see, I have those all over here in this document. The 180 means south, the 270 means west. So if I scroll through these, you can see that I have all these separated with commas, and as I name each little value, I put two hashtags in between it, and it's mentioned right there in those directions. So that is our heading, and I did the same thing with pitch. Um, you actually want to use values, so I'm going to go and show you how I have this set up. This is a list global. Negative 90, I just have it named as down, it's looking straight down. Negative 45 is a down at an angle or down angle, whatever you want to name it. Zero is straight ahead or straight is how I have it named. 45 is up angle and 90 is named straight up. So you can give these names to help you, uh, instead of knowing what this value means, give it a name, that way you can pick it real easy if you wanted to adjust this right inside of here. Because as you can see, these are actual names, but they're going to return those numerical values that I have set up. Location, you wanna do a latitude, comma, longitude, and this is a text global. Basically, these are the LI functions you can find right inside of here, and it makes you do latitude, comma, longitude. As you can see, that's getting returned there. And then finally, we want to take all these parameters and put them into a uh, URL. And this URL is exactly what I have over here. So you can just copy and paste that or whatever you want to do. Um, but these are all the parameters that I was able to find. Maybe there's more, um, I don't know. But anyway, this is plenty. I mean, we can get a 360 degree view with our heading. We can zoom with our FOV. We can look up down uh, with our pitch and we can change the size of our image. So. All that stuff is tied into here. And as you can see, everywhere where I have a global variable, for example, GV size, that's that 720 by 400. Uh, the location equals GV location, that's that uh, latitude, longitude. And FOV is GV FOV. Notice FOV is zero. Um, that's going to be zoomed all the way in with the way I have it set up right now. Heading equals zero. So heading equals zero is going to be that facing north. Um, but yeah, as you can see, all that stuff's getting tied in. And notice with that, the heading and the pitch, it's returning those numerical values and not those names. So that's what I was mentioning a minute ago with the list global variable. Um, notice how the URL's typed. If you've done the, the map tutorial I did, I've done a couple of map tutorials, but you have to you know put these little uh, ands and like the parameter name and then give it a value. So size equals, then give it a size. And location equals, give it its location. So just copy and paste that. Once you have all that stuff set up, it's pretty much, uh, it's, it's a lot easier after that. I'm gonna go into my component. And I, the way I have this set up is just a stack group just to keep things organized for this tutorial. And I added an image there. So this image is a bitmap. And instead of me typing in the long code, I already have it stored in my global. So for this bitmap, I have GV URL. That was that last global variable I just showed you. I called it URL, but I probably didn't tell you. Hopefully you saw it, but that's going to return that URL right into there. So if I ever wanted to edit that URL, I can just change it in my globals instead of coming back here to change it. Now I have the width of this image set to the width of my screen. This is where the size thing can kind of come into play. It, the size that you type in for your global variable might not be reflected directly on your custom live wallpaper, but you can still get an idea of, of whether you want a rectangular shape or more of a a square shape or heck you could even use this as a uh, circle or whatever if you're using a shape and you're setting its uh, texture to bitmap I think it's texture but anyway that, that's neither here nor there right now and I mean yeah once you add that image all these other things are just little text fields in my stack group for example my text here that says field of view I just have it set up as text field of view equals in GVFOV just to know where my zoom is and zero to me means zoomed in and I can toggle this just like any other global switch really not all global switches but most global switches if I go to touch if I touch this little text item here it's just going to toggle through that FOV and it's going to go to the next value and you guessed it I really had the same thing going on with all of these the heading and the pitch I'll show you the pitch just to kind of finish things off here uh, so there's my text for pitch this is the angle we can look up or down and if I go to its text pitch equals GV pitch just for teaching purposes here and then if we touch that we are toggling the global switch pitch and we're just going to the next value so that's where it's going to go through these which is actually going to return those numerical values these are just the names to help guide us and again that's a cool trick for a list global variable and once you have all that stuff set up um, once you save it go back to the home screen what's going to happen there you may have to give it a minute to load up these images um, as you can see here you know if I'm doing if I'm changing them it's pretty quick that's because they're already loaded they're cached into my memory or whatever but just give it a second to load up and what will happen is based on your location settings 
um, whenever you go somewhere, you can you know pull up the person's house or the restaurant you're at. Hopefully, it'll kind of give you somewhat of a good location and give you a street view. Um, if you were looking for somebody's location, if they if you knew their GPS coordinates, what you could do is you could type those into your location global, and you could maybe get a picture of their house or something like that without going to the web. You could do all this right inside of KOWP or KWGT. And there you have it. That's how you can do a street view for Google Maps in KOWP or KWGT. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.